moving on, we're gonna try to have the width, the width of the Iron Man. And in order to do that, what we can do is we can simply extrude. Okay, we can simply use the extrude tool. So, um, before I move on, I'm going to just think about how much should I extrude and what should I extrude. Because based on this side view, you can see that it is actually mostly this area, you know, the, the uh, very side of this. So, in fact, um, I only need the front part, the chest area to be to be out to be out from here okay and from here it actually it is actually like somewhat 50% of this half of this okay so with that in mind I'm gonna click on this extra tool and easiest way is I can just pull this out okay pull this out So you can have a look at this, okay. And if you actually need to view it in different dimension, it'd be like this. Now, um, I'm not going. I'm not planning to actually pull out too much. Mm, at the most, is probably like fifty percent because the rest actually I can just pull it off from this all these surfaces because it's supposed to be round anyway. Okay, so probably. I'm going to just shift it somewhere where the groin is okay the rough round groin is around here okay and if you actually open up your um, channel editor here you are actually able to see the uh, settings if you scroll it a little bit down again it's a division problem because over here maybe I might need a little bit more um, segments to help me get a shape a nicer shape so uh, I'm gonna try to get it to 2 you can again use your number to 2 and you can see dynamically it actually slides it into half okay I think that should be good enough for me alright and for low poly modeling um, in fact for human I mean and uh, modeling I always start off with modeling half of the model and later on we can always um, mirror the other side so that you actually save your effort um, and time to create both symmetry okay so once you're done just press on Q and your extra is done Q is this arrow key to deactivate the tool okay so moving on um, at this point onwards I might need my perspective view okay I need my might need my uh, my side view I don't really need uh, definitely I need my front view so panel and choose perspective view for here okay and I'm going to just pull this up so I can see both okay and here okay step by step we try to get out a base a rough shape based on uh, the front view I have and using this so what I can do is I'm going to do them very carefully okay first I select uh, the middle area if you want to select multiple polygons you can just hit on just select one of them and then sh press S to select them okay why do I select horizontally and hold on control right mouse click on this area and you can grow selection and you can see that this part is being selected okay why do I select middle it's so that when you grow you actually grow bigger in this outer area okay and once I have this I use my move tool and I shave it out okay look from the side view and try to visualize how it will look like when you are actually shifting it out don't worry about those details later on we are going to refine them okay so shift it up and I'm going to do the rest okay maybe I still need this part to be out 
Okay, so also look from a back view. And maybe I can select from this area. Okay, and I will shift them out even more. Okay, um, you can shift it up to this area, no worries. Uh, later on we're going to refine it. So this will get a rough shape of our uh, model. Okay, this is a wireframe view. Okay, uh, of course you will find that this part is actually very flat. Very flat if I turn this on. Okay, it looks very flat. So um, what you can do again is if you want to have a much more curvier Okay, how do I know that it's, it's flat? Because if you look from this angle, almost at top view, it is flat. Okay, and normally a human waist, it is rounded. Okay, so I can go to edge, select this edge, this, 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 this. Okay, and maybe this too. Okay, and here I don't think I need to. Because this is supposed to be flat. Okay, so um but I can shift them out at the same time. So I'm gonna just select oops. You can see that you can accidentally select those areas that you do not want if you have it transparent. Okay, so I'm gonna select this mount. Okay, and then shift it out. Okay, what I want to get is this part, this this portion where I actually has a little bit of roundness over here okay okay this part is supposed to be flat anyway based on this image you can see that it is supposed to be flat okay so once I'm done um, now is the point where actually I can use my uh, H2 to help me refine it okay this part is definitely too too straight okay um, so I'm gonna sort of shift it in this way, okay? But I can't shift them in one by one; it's very slow. So hold on, Control and right click. Uh, edge loop. You can see over here, it actually loop to the point where it actually doesn't move anymore. Okay, so if you want to select the back also, so if you want to select the back, you can select this, and again. Hold on control, right mouse click, move to H loop, to H loop. Okay. And there you are, you are selecting almost all of them. Just this you can manually shift them. Select them. And at the bottom, oh well, I think I'll select them as well. Okay. Learn, learning to select what is important is very critical because it will save you a lot of time. So once I've got this, my main purpose is to scale it down. Okay, scale it down like this. So it's much more rounder. Okay. And so from here on, I can slowly refine refine the surface so the first thing is the waist is way off so I'm going to just shift it in okay look over here I'm going to just try to focus on this area and then once I've meet this rounders over here I'm going to dislike this area deselect and I use this to chip in okay deselect deselect and then shift in okay so I did not dislike this part okay shift in okay this is okay so I'm gonna shift this part out so deselect deselect hold on shift to sorry hold on control to deselect okay now I'm gonna shift this out okay last but not least shift this out So here is what I got. Okay, and if you want to get the shape of your groin to be out, 
uh, you can also so what I'm going to do is select this tool hold on shift to add additional surface shift them out first okay then hold on shift to add them on and shift it down even more okay I'll look from here okay so you actually meet the bottom part of it okay and then point in time you find that it's not good enough always refine it so here I'm going to refine the front part so I can just shift this when you're doing symmetry try not to do with the x-axis which is like this you actually goes into the uh, the the axis of symmetry which is actually you have a lot of problem so always move only if you're selecting this the tip of the axis this area if you're selecting any of this move only in the depth the Z and the Y never shift into the X axis like this you will have a huge problem later on when you're modeling okay so select this same thing always stick to the Y and the uh, and the Z axis so from here shift up okay and inwards depending on how you want your butt to be okay I think this is fine for me and there you are you have sculpted a basic shape of your Iron Man Okay, so refine it slowly. We'll refine it to the to the top over here. Now over here, you will find that this is a major shortage of polygons. Um, we will see how we can actually rectify this. First thing first, I would try to have the neck to be done. Okay, so I'm um, just gonna sh select this area. Okay, it might be easier to select from the front view shift it out okay shift it out okay I will plan where my segment will start for the circle circle neck area so I will start with this so I'm going to just continue to select all of this and then shift them out okay again um, I only plan to have the neck as a, another cylinder so I'm going to make sure that it touches it touches this corner can you see this corner so I'm gonna make sure it touches that corner okay and from here you can again use your rotate tool and shift tool to adjust the sh uh, the shoulder of your Iron Man okay here okay it will take some time to do fine uh, refinement Okay, um, here I think I can cut in through because later on I'm going to have a, another cylinder also. So I'm just going to make, so um, just adding, editing this part to make it look more smooth. Right, so here you are. Okay, and how was I planning to do the neck portion? Okay, right now then I will probably need my uh, side view, side view, autographic side view. Okay, so if this is, this looks fine, so I'm going to refine um, the area where the neck is and I might use my top view also. Okay, here you would probably need four views to help you to get the shape of the neck okay so if okay so now I'm gonna plan where is my maximum area for the neck so if this tool is gonna be the maximum then I'm gonna shift this in shift this in okay and shift this downward a little bit so we create a round shape okay again from here this point and this point these two point shift this in okay and you can see this is the tip of this 
deselect, click outside, and this point, this is a tip of the neck, so it's going to shift back in. And but my tip is not going to be this point, but it's rather this point. So I'm going to shift it, shift it up like this. Okay, so it actually create a round neck, round neck shape. Okay, which we can actually edit later on. Okay, and as for this, I'm going to just uh, align it nicely for later refinement. So there you are. Here's my rough shape of my Iron Man body sculpt.